How much danger do you think you'd be in if this snake bit you? Most of us have no idea. On one hand, its bite might just leave us with a simple flesh wound. Or we could be dead in a matter of minutes. Today, we're ranking some of the deadliest snake species in the world, separating them on a tier list. Each snake will fall into one of the following categories. Walk it off, ask Dr. Google, ask a real doctor, rush to the hospital, or say your prayers. Pay attention because I don't want to be dramatic, but it could be the difference between life and death. Let's begin our ranking with the colorful coral snake found in the forests and grasslands of the southern United States and parts of South America. The coral can reach lengths of over one meter, and it's painted vibrant hues of red, yellow, and black, creating a mesmerizing pattern. This one is going straight to Ask Dr. Google. You'll see why. First of all, encounters with this snake are extremely rare, as they're pretty reclusive and they prefer to flee rather than confront you. And when they do attack, corals have to chew on you to inject their venom, so their bite hardly ever results in death. Their venom can take up to 13 hours before it starts to affect you, but then it can be life-threatening. You may lose the ability to breathe. That being said, encounters with these snakes are so rare that we'll place them in a category where finding information online, combined with medical attention if needed, is the recommended approach. Okay, now we take you down under to meet one of the most dangerous snakes on the planet, the eastern brown snake. They can be found from the sun-drenched suburbs to the rural expanses of eastern Australia. The eastern brown snake grows to about two meters and has a slim build. It's colored a variety of earth tones, ranging from light brown to almost inky black, and its small fangs will inject around four milligrams of venom on average. Doesn't sound like a lot, right? Well, you don't need that much to be lethal. Their venom contains powerful toxins that affect your nervous system, heart, and liver. It will also make your blood coagulate, causing strokes. So every bite is a potential death sentence. That's why we're placing the Eastern Brown in our deadliest category. Say your prayers. This serpent alone is responsible for approximately 60% of snake bite deaths in Australia. A lot of those deadly bites happen when people try to kill the snakes, so if you see one, don't try to pick a fight, just keep your distance. All right, next on our list, not just a type of snake, but a group of species that spread from North to South America. Known for their chilling warning sound, rattlesnakes are as fascinating as they are feared. Some can grow to two and a half meters. Most of them are green or light brown with diamond blotches. We're gonna put these snakes on our Ask a Real Doctor tier. While a rattlesnake's bite delivers venom that can cause severe tissue damage, swelling, and pain, it's not necessarily a death sentence. Thanks to advances in medical science, anti-venom treatments are highly effective, drastically reducing the chance of serious complications or death. The best survival tip is to stop in your tracks if you hear that distinctive rattle. This snake is not looking for a fight, it's asking for space. Slowly back away and you can both go your separate ways unharmed. All right, now we're venturing into the heart of Sub-Saharan Africa to meet the Gaboon Viper. Their bodies are light and dark brown with purple diamonds and stripes along their back. They can grow to a length of nearly two meters, and their five centimeter fangs are the longest of any venomous snake. And they're capable of delivering a massive dose of venom in a single bite. But this snake's gentle nature and the effectiveness of medical treatment for its bite place it firmly in the Ask a Real Doctor tier. An encounter with this elusive viper is pretty uncommon, and bites are even more rare. Most incidents occur when the snake is accidentally disturbed by humans, so make sure not to provoke it. Its venom is a potent cocktail that attacks your cells, damages your tissues, and causes swelling. Okay, next we have the garter snake, a misunderstood critter often spotted in backyards and gardens across North and Central America. The garter is small and thin, but can reach up to one meter in length. 
It has a series of stripes that run the length of its body. The stripes will vary in color, often blending in perfectly with their surroundings. Now, the category for this snake is going to be walk it off. Venomous might sound alarming, but in the case of the garter snake, it's more of a technicality than a threat. Their venom is so mild that it poses no danger to humans. At most, a bite from a garter snake might leave you with a bit of an itching or slight swelling. Just wash the area with soap and water and you'll be fine. And the next time you spot a garter snake slithering through your garden, give it a nod of thanks for its pest control efforts. Okay, back to Australia. This time, the desert regions of the outback, where the inland Taipan makes its home. Reaching an average length of two meters, its light brown body seamlessly camouflages into the desert landscape. The inland Taipan earns its spot on the Say Your Prayers tier, not through its body count, but through the sheer potency of its venom. It holds the crown as the most venomous snake on the planet. The poison from a single bite of the snake is enough to kill 100 adults. The venom is a cocktail designed to immobilize and overwhelm its prey in minutes. It spreads quickly, causing headache, vomiting, and paralysis. Luckily, this shy reptile is pretty chill and rarely seen in its dusty homeland. But in the unlikely event of a bite, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. Anti-venom treatment is remarkably effective if administered promptly. Okay, the last snake on our list is a stealthy menace that lurks in the forests and farmland of South Asia, the common crate. With a slim bluish-black body ringed with white bands, this snake blends into the night and attacks silently. Some species can reach up to two meters, but the average length of a common crate is about one meter. That doesn't make it any less dangerous, and we have to place this one on the rush to the hospital tier. The venom of the common crate is a potent neurotoxin that causes muscle paralysis, leading to respiratory failure. If left untreated, 70 to 80% of crate bites result in death. The scary thing is, is the bite is initially painless. Some victims sleep through a bite and wake up in a critical, sometimes irreversible medical emergency. In areas where the common crate is known to roam, precaution is key. Set your sleeping area up off the ground and enclose sleeping spaces within mosquito nets to make a barrier against these nocturnal visitors. If you think you've been bitten by a crate, the absence of pain does not mean you're safe. Get medical attention immediately. Antivenom can mean the difference between life and death. Did you find the snakes on this list scary? Well, then a one-ton titanoboa would have you petrified. Check out our video, The Deadliest Snakes You'll Be Glad to Know Are Extinct, right here on How to Survive.